Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today I am going to show you the very best car collections from around the entire world that I have ever visited. Now I've been to private garages as far afield as New Zealand and Tokyo, through the Middle East, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Bahrain, all across Europe and to North America, Canada, the USA and even to Mexico. Now it's a topic close to my own heart as I look to find a new home for my cars, some of which are behind me and I'm very close to actually finding somewhere but we are going to talk about the very best in terms of the garages and the way the cars are displayed the actual cars contained within the supercars and the classic cars what about the memorabilia as well and some of the displays that line the walls plus the stories that are behind the entire collections so this is going to be the top 10 best car collections in the entire world <laughs> At the moment, you join me in the supercar storage where I keep some of my cars. Behind me, we have the new AMG GTR Pro. Tucked in at the back, you might just see the McLaren 675LT. We've got the Ford GT, the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso, the G63, and the Vantage GT8. But as you probably know from my channel, I am currently deep in the hunt to find my own private car collection location. Now, I've been to visit quite a few, and I am this close to picking my favorite, and hopefully into the new year, moving in, where I'll be able to reveal it all but I'm taking quite a few inspirations from some of the places that I've visited along the way and I'll actually pick out some of the highlights later on in the video too that are really stood out to me and might be incorporated into my collection. Now during my recent tour in the USA I visited some amazing amazing places and private garages. For example in Miami I stopped by 69 Ride or Die's collection of race cars but also over in the apartment we saw the Pagani Zonda R mounted sideways forming one of the walls. Walls. Of course, I also caught up with my friend Manny Koshbin out in Orange County, California, where again we saw his hypercars displayed in the most incredible room, completely white-walled, just the cars the center of attention. I also met with Ian Poulter in Florida. Ian Poulter, a professional golfer with an incredible Ferrari collection, also with some memorabilia from his golfing and also of the Ferraris around as well. Plus, of course, my good friend David Lee and his cars, his Ferrari collection, joined also by some others, presented in an environment that I quite like as well. Plus, I stopped by the Chicago Iron Gate Motor Condos, where I got to see a lot of different ideas all in one location. Taking all of this in though has given me so much inspiration, but I'd like to run through my top 10 favorites that I've ever seen. For the first stop on our journey of discovery of the car collections from around the world, let's head to Bahrain to visit the Collection One. Arguably one of the greatest modern hypercar collections, flanked as well by some incredible legends, the likes of the McLaren F1, the Porsche 911 GT1, and the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR that the Collection One kindly allowed me to drive as well at the Bahrain International Circuit. But we're talking most of the recent hypercars, the likes of the Ferrari lineup, the Ferrari, the Enzo, the F50, the F40, also the Lamborghinis, the Reventon, a Miura as well, mixing in some classics. We have all of the McLaren hypercars, the McLaren F1, then the P1 and the Senna, a new Ford GT, plus some unusual cars, the likes of the Hennessy Venom GT, the Koenigsegg Agera RS, but many, many more sit between in an amazing display, one that has expanded over time, a central turntable, a view from above to look down as well, some attached chill out and lounge areas too, but the display that really just leaves you with your jaw dropped, wondering how all of this can be in one place at the same time. On to the next stop, number two, and for this we're going to head across the world to Mexico to go to Mexico City and visit the collection of Don Huayra. Now what made this particularly special for me was to visit a collection that had never previously really been shown, and I can't thank Don Huayra enough for that opportunity to come and share this garage, an extraordinary variety of cars, from all of the old American muscle, through through to many of the modern hypercars and a collection that is growing like you would not believe. And in fact, I think that can be said for many of the garages we're going to see today. At the time, it was armed with the likes of the Chiron, the Senna, the Pagani Huayra, but now they have been joined by an Enzo, a 918, a P1, a LaFerrari, an Aston 177, and the list just goes on. But again, a huge variety from the classics, through sports cars, through Grand Tours, through some older Ferraris, so many different cars in one amazing room that you're greeted by all of it with a stunning view as well and then those cars in Mexico very unusual collection but amazing to be able to see and also to be able to share it 
No list like this could be complete without our third entry and probably the most famous car collection from the entire world, and that is Jay Leno's garage, where I got to visit with Jay Leno himself. He showed me around and I was amazed by the extraordinary breadth of style of cars, the different halls and warehouses that all connect together, with cars varying from the likes of the McLaren P1, 12C, the Mercedes SLR McLarens, through to classics of all sorts, going back in time with different styles from motorbikes to cars to everything, to varied things, but also Jay's unrivaled passion for his cars and his knowledge of each and every single one of them. But then look around, the artworks that are on the walls, the model cars, the custom memorabilia, the things that have been collected and accrued over time. I think it is the dream car collection for people like myself and I'm sure many of you guys watching. Jay Leno's garage is unlike anything else and the fact that it also spawned the TV show and the YouTube videos as well where other guest cars come to visit. To me, that is a complete dream. But being there, being able to visit was a day I won't forget. It's a huge thanks to Jay and his team as well for the possibility. Jay Leno's garage, undisputably one of the best. Next though, for number four, I'm going to head somewhere you might not have expected, to France, to Emotion. Now Emotion comprises two separate parts. The first is the part that's on kind of display but not open to everyone. Above a restaurant and general chill out area are some very special cars which are rotated with the other collection stored at another location a few hours away with all of the cars in the garage. But this is a collection where you're greeted by everything. The Bugatti Veyron, the Lamborghini Centenario, the Ferrari LaFerrari, through so many different cars as well. Again, Again, a big variety, but mostly of the modern cars, so things that appeal to me, but one that when I was walking through and walking around, just looking, and I think being able to name most of the cars, they all just really stood out because, well, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. In France, of all places, what an amazing collection, and almost undoubtedly the best car collection in France itself as well, but this, this was a really, really cool place to visit. We're now going to head to the east for number five to go to Japan and visit the garage of Mr. Miura outside of Tokyo. What a name for a car collector, but a collection that features perhaps not the craziest in terms of the cars, many very special cars, don't get me wrong. We are talking Enzos, F40s, F50, the Reventon, and plenty more. But to me, this was at the end of the Gumball 3000. We had arrived from London to Tokyo, and I went to visit this collection housed in a purpose-built unit where you have the the office, the chill out areas upstairs, housing some memorabilia, but then the opportunity to look down over the, all of the cars down below, as well as a second garage housing even more. But these cars are many of them in unique or custom specifications, one-offs, one of a kind, some of which are still complete in factory fresh delivery mileage condition. And just a garage that again took me a bit by surprise, but a highlight of my visit over to Japan to see Mr. Miura's car collection. Entering now into the second half of our list, for number six, I'm gonna to head to visit the collection of a friend of mine, Zach's Garage. Now, Zach's Garage is here in the UK, but again, a huge mix of cars. Some things in common with Jay Leno's Garage, Zach's Garage also has a few ramps to work on the cars and a heavy bias towards classics, the likes of old Aston Martins and many you can see as we walk around in rooms housing memorabilia as well, but also a few cars standing out to me, the likes of the 300 SL Gullwing, the Lamborghini Miura, and I actually joined with Zach two years ago for the delivery day of their Koenigsegg Agera. A very special day, the Koenigsegg wrapped up in a bow, but joining this very, very diverse collection and quite an unusual one here actually in the UK as well for me. I visited many across the world, but to visit one at home belonging to a friend as well. And Zach also has a YouTube channel with some of the others if you'd like to check that out too down below. From one extreme to another, for the seventh garage we're going to check out, we will head away from the rustic look to go to something much more modern, the futuristic garage of Don Casanova in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Of course, it is home to some very nice cars, the likes of the Bugatti Veyron, the Mansouri Lamborghini Aventador, the Rolls Royces and more, many of which are blue chrome. And in fact, I believe the entire collection is now blue chromed as well. But the garage to me really stands out for its lighting, the appearance, the look, the reflections, particularly thanks to the cars being chromed, but also the mirrors around and the lighting that is installed. It really and truly stood out and had a wow factor that you often don't see. Of course, also alongside the cars, there's a lounge and a bar area, but the cars in that room with that lighting just looked insane. 
on to the 8th and we are now going to go from the United Arab Emirates to the United States of America to visit what I'm going to call the original. This garage built underneath a private house was probably the first garage that I ever saw photos of that really got me very keen on the idea and the dream to one day be able to create a private collection. Inside some lovely cars, we're talking the likes of the MC12, a silver Ferrari F50 and a turntable to rotate the cars to make it easier to park them all inside. There are also paintings and artworks on the walls but a private garage one that sits underneath a residential home and again to me just stands out for so many experiences and how special it was at a time when social media didn't exist this was built purely for the purpose of the cars for housing the cars and not necessarily to do with sharing photos of them but photos were taken they were published in a magazine and I was lucky to visit earlier on this year just outside of New York City a very very nice collection an amazing one to actually see in person having seen so many photos of it over time. We've only got two more left then on this list of the top 10 but they are two very big and very significant collections. Before I can tell you a little bit more as well about the plans for my cars and my upcoming garage and some of the inspirations. So for number nine we will head a few states over from New York just outside of Detroit to go and check out the Lingenfelter collection. This must be one of the greatest collections of American cars particularly of Corvettes all of the different generations, special, limited, rare, one-off versions, also race cars, also concepts and prototypes. Amongst those, there are also Mustangs, Camaros, you have a few hypercars as well, the LaFerrari, the Lamborghini Raventon. Again, a huge variety, classics mixed with modern supercars, plus some of the cars from the Lingenfelter performance, tuning and modification side of the business as well. I explored with Ken Lingenfelter, had a complete look around, and there were so many details about these cars things that really stood out filling a few different warehouses just another incredible extraordinary collection so many different cars accrued and collected together over such a long time as well forming what is now the Lingenfelter collection another very special place it is time for number 10 and I have saved the best until last. We're going to head back to the UAE to go to Abu Dhabi and visit the SBH Royal Auto Gallery. Now I've been lucky enough to visit the collection a couple of times over the years. It has always grown from one to the next, but this is, I think without a doubt, the greatest gathering of modern hypercars as part of one private collection. We are talking all of the latest from Ferrari, from Bugatti, from McLaren, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, in, mixed in with Porsches, we've got some race cars, it's all there in a purpose-built facility, rooms either side housing memorabilia but also the designs on the walls to represent the cars in that area. We have the likes of the LaFerrari Aperta, the rarities like the Pininfarina Sergio, one of only six, we have the Bugattis, the Chiron but back through various special editions of the Veyron including the Veyron Supersport World Record Edition. We have the lineage of cars, for example the 959 Carrera GT, Porsche 980 Spider. We have the likes of the Aston Martin 177, the Lamborghini Reventon. We have some Mercedes cars, an affinity towards those with the AMG SLS GT3 cars, but also with cars like the SLRs. We've also got just, I, I don't know where to describe it really, you look around, it's just the most amazing place to spend time. Standing in there for me is complete heaven. Those cars around you, that display, the way they're presented and the special cars, I could look at each one in detail. So for me, the SBH Royal Auto Gallery, that stands out there at the top. That collection of cars, I will never forget each time that I've been lucky enough to visit it. What an amazing, amazing garage. For now though, let's talk a little bit more about mine. I fear that I've missed off a few others actually that I would have loved to have mentioned including Danamai's collection with the trio of Pagani Zondas, also Speedy Jeff's Man Cave where I've spent quite a bit of time surrounded by all of the Koenigseggs. But to talk about a few collections that have factors that will play a part in what I do with my cars and one of those was when I was out last year in New Zealand and I went to Auckland where I met up with Grant Baker. Now Grant's collection includes a LaFerrari Aperta, an F12 TDF, a 599 GTO and plenty of other special cars but they're all presented in a unit that has two things about it. One, they're all used. They all have the ability to come in and out quite easily. And two, the office with a view over all of the cars. The office is home to the memorabilia, the things that you collect when you buy some of these limited cars, but also with a view through the glass windows over everything that's going on. Now, I might not be able to have a mezzanine, but I'd love to have that differentiation. The active area where the cars are coming in and out, even when they're dirty and being used with weather like it is today, but also the office area 
area that houses all of the bits and pieces that I've collected. Another quite similar setup was Life of Ferrari in California. Again, a big Ferrari collection housed downstairs with an upstairs seating area with books, with some of the original window stickers, and with plenty more things that connect to the collection. Another similar one to that, again more Ferraris, Milamelia out in Dubai. Another private collection with the cars on display, with mannequins, with race suits, with all sorts of things going on. And actually another one, a rival, a quite topical rival at the moment, Ford versus Ferrari, a Ford collection, the Car Cathedral that I visited in Toronto, Canada. The Car Cathedral filled with Ford GTs, new 05s, GT40s and more. Again though, all of the different things, all of the RC cars, all of the toy cars, all the models, all of the pictures, all of the, the race suit wearing, being worn by a mannequin with the helmet, again something I've got as well. So all of these are feeding a bit of an idea. I'd like to go for something with really bright and prominent lighting, something that has a separate office area where I can put my memorabilia, but basically to have those two distinct areas and well I found somewhere that could do that pretty well. So fingers are all crossed right now that that can come through, we can agree some terms and make it happen. If we can, the Shmi 150 garage is going to be coming very, very soon to have somewhere to finally put all of these for filming my videos, for keeping the cars and for creating, well, to look forward to all things in the future. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this top 10 look at the garages that I've visited from around the world. I'm very excited though for what comes next for me. It is going to be a very, very, very busy, very exciting 2020. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers!